Thank you for choosing Freddy Mazda of Covington. My name is Sean Carlos, and today I'll be teaching you how to set up and use your My Mazda app. To start off, we're gonna head to the App Store or the Play Store if you have an Android, and type in My Mazda app. From there, we're gonna have the first option pop up. It's going to look like this and have the Mazda logo in it, and we're gonna select download. Once that is done downloading, we're going to actually open the app almost immediately, head in there, allow notifications if you'd like, and then from there, we're just going to go to the next step, I press okay for everything. Next, we're going to agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy by clicking on it and hitting agree. After that, we're actually going to select yes, I am an owner and press that at the bottom of the screen. And then we're going to hit register and input all of our personal information. Once you're done registering and inputting all your information, we're gonna go ahead and scan your VIN and press allow so that the app can use your camera to do so. Once you do that, you can just follow the directions on the screen, line up the brackets with the barcode located on the inside of the driver's side door, and that way the VIN will populate like you see on screen right now. It's populated into that little menu, and then we're just gonna hit next. Once you're all done setting up your VIN, you're gonna hit validate and it's going to validate your VIN and then you're gonna get an option to hit next and this is going to allow us to input information for the vehicle. Now the first thing you see on the top is gonna to be your vehicle's name. You can name it whatever you like, but for the purposes of this demo, we're going to name it Mazda. Once we've named that vehicle Mazda, I'm gonna go through, make sure the VIN matches up, the year and model matches up, and if you want, you can select your dealership. Once we're done with that, we're gonna hit submit and it's gonna bring us to our next screen, which is going to be the enroll screen. Once you hit enroll it's going to bring you to a couple of terms and services to bring to so we're going to hit next and then we're going to agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy once more now that we're all done with that we're going to begin the validation process for our vehicle and this is simple as following the directions on screen we're going to hop in our car and we're going to turn the ignition on and then a authorization code should appear on the infotainment system screen once you get that code you can just type it in here and then hit submit and then once that is submitted you're going to wait a moment for your enrollment to begin this shouldn't take more than one to two minutes now that we're done and connected to our vehicle, we can enable the push notifications. These will alert us if any of these conditions are changed, for instance, if our doors are opened. And once that is done, we're gonna select our vehicle. We have one, so we can just hit next. And I recommend enabling Face ID if you do have the option. And just like that, you're all set up with the Mazda app.